The Pixplant interface is divided in three main areas, the 3D preview, the map editor, and the map tools area. The 3D preview is where you can see 3D rendering of uh, your maps being textured into a 3D model. This is a normal uh, 3D viewer with, where you can uh, zoom the model, you can uh, rotate the camera or the model itself, uh, or you can pan. Above the 3D preview viewer, we have options for including or not uh, maps in the, in the rendering. Below, we can uh, find a number of other options. You can, for instance, uh, change the 3D model between the ones available, or uh, you can also drag and drop your own. Uh, you can also change the HDRI environment. You can also uh, drag and drop your own, or you can choose between the ones available. You will see this button in many places of the Pixplant interface. It's the info button, and when you click it, you can see more information about that area. Most settings also have uh, quick tooltips. If you just leave the mouse over, uh, a tooltip will appear with quick information. The 3D preview can be uh, undocked from the main window by clicking that button, and uh, you can then, for example, move it to a different monitor. To dock it back again, just close the independent window. You can change between the available maps by clicking these tabs. And above, you have a number of common functionality, like uh, creating a new map or opening a map, saving, closing, undo, redo, copy, paste, or external edit a map. Let's now open a material. I will drag and drop a folder with maps. So Pixplant is confirming now in the Open Maps window whether the map types are correct. And a red brick material is now open. The editor has common functionality you would expect. You can uh, zoom, you can pan. You have buttons to fit or to have 100% zoom, one by one pixel. Other maps were also loaded. Roughness, displacement, normal, for example. Here in the bottom, we have information about the current map, its file name and path, and some more settings that we'll see in a separate tutorial. But how do we edit maps? We use the map tools, which are available at the right. Each one of these entries is a tool, and when you click, you have more uh, settings that, can, that control that tool. For instance, in this case, let's get rid of a white spot, which is here in the brick. So I've selected clone and I'll just paint over and we got rid of the spot. Tools uh, also have information available. Just leave the mouse over the tool header and click the info button to get information. Let's see another tool, the edges tool. Uh, this tool is available in all maps, uh, although the settings uh, are different uh, depending on the map type. For instance, in this case, we can change the saturation or the contrast. You will see sliders in many uh, places of the Pixplant interface. You can uh, reset them by clicking their label. Just click the left or right label and it will reset. You can move sliders uh, by, by moving the mouse wheel and it will increment. In this case, it's incrementing in steps of uh, three, but if you press the control key, it will uh, change in steps of one or finer control. At the top right, we have these three uh, important buttons, the extract 3D maps, which will extract uh, maps from a photo opened in the base color editor. Next to it, we have guides. Guides are um, a kind of interactive tutorials, which are available inside Pixplant. In fact, I'm now following this uh, interface tour guide. So a guide is a, a window uh, where you can um, follow a number of steps to, to learn about some uh, part of Pixplant. And next to it, we have the global settings button where you can change the 3D workflow. Pixplant includes two workflows, PBR metallic roughness or the traditional workflow, which was included in previous versions. Next to it, we have the tiling mode, which allows you to, to select the wrapping mode of the maps. 